join the trip to a sound mind and body with PE Ride. In this class, we will go through a journey to help you achieve a healthier lifestyle. I am Teacher Ruby, your PE Body, here on DepEd TV. Grade 10 Peanatics, let's enjoy the different activities which I prepared for all of you. I know you are all excited, so let's start the ball rolling with a recap of what we discussed in the other episode. These are the important things that we tackled in the past lesson. Reps or repetition is a one full movement from starting point to finish. Set is a group of reps or repetition. We likewise discussed the benefits of weight training, the precautionary measures, and also FITT principle, frequency, intensity, time, and type. And we also introduced strength training. Today, we will have a full serving of lessons on the proper food requirements in order to achieve optimum health. There are different dietary and nutritional requirements that can increase our general fitness level. The food and liquids that you consume serve as fuel for your body. Since a good portion of our body is made up of water, dehydration can certainly affect our performance and could result in injuries. Therefore, we need to replace body fluids we lost during exercise with adequate amounts of water. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are sugar, starch, and fiber which makes our body energized. For us to do our everyday activities, we need to consume adequate number of carbs for us to replace energy which is utilized by our body. Protein. Protein is a vital nutrient required for building, maintaining, and repairing tissues, cells, and organs throughout the body. Good sources of protein are fish, poultry products, like chicken, dairy products such as skim milk, cheese, and yogurt, beans, nuts, tofu, and soy products. Fruits and vegetables. Fill your plate with fruits and vegetables. Dark green, red, orange vegetables are high levels of nutrients such as vitamin C, calcium, and fiber. Adding spinach or romaine lettuce and tomato to your sandwich is the easiest way to get more veggies in your meal. Fatty acids. Fatty acids is one of the three essential macronutrients the body needs. Along with carbohydrates and protein, a balanced diet should include healthful, monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats. Some of the best sources of these fatty acids include avocados, olive oil, nuts, seeds, and fatty fish. People should also be sure to limit the amount of saturated fat in the diet and avoid even small intakes of trans fats. Sodium. Our body needs sodium. It helps regulate muscle contraction, nerve function, and blood volume. It also regulates fluid levels in your body. Low sodium levels can cause dehydration, muscle cramps, or even organ failure. But consuming too much of this can raise your blood pressure, which is unhealthy for your heart and your body. So, we have to regulate our intake of sodium. Salt and sodium are not exactly the same thing. Sodium is a mineral that is naturally present in food 
or is added during manufacturing or both. Table salt is a combination of sodium and chloride. Fresh and unprocessed meat, poultry, and fish contain little sodium. Processed foods like those that are canned, frozen, or packaged often have a lot of salt. Try to lessen the salt in preparing food. So these are the different food and nutrients that we take. I will give you some tips to maintain a healthy weight. Eat breakfast every day. It energizes the body. You can even grab something on the go like a piece of fruit and a slice of whole grain bread. It also helps you concentrate on your studies. Eat healthy snacks and try not to skip meals. If you can bring your own snack, then do so. Eat boiled bananas, camote, and the like instead of eating junk foods. Take dinner with your family. When you eat with your family, you are more likely to eat a healthy meal. And you can take the time to catch up with each other. Be involved in groceries, shopping, and meal planning at home. If you're involved, you can make sure meals are healthy and fit your taste. Share your knowledge with your parents while picking up your groceries. This can strengthen your bonding too. Take note, proper nutrition depends on the mix of food with varied nutrients that we need to consume every day. Having too much or too little of these nutrients can lead to disorders. So keep in mind the principles of nutrition like adequacy, balance, and variety. Nutrients are important food substances that help our body function properly. They provide energy and facilitate growth and repair of cells. Macronutrients such as carbohydrates, fats, proteins, and water are mandatory intake by the body in large amounts. Micronutrients such as vitamins and minerals are only needed in very little amount. They all aid our bodies to produce enzymes, hormones, and other substances critical to growth and development. Now, let us do a healthy lifestyle check. I will show different habits or practices that affect our healthy lifestyle. Identify whether these habits are healthy or unhealthy. Number one, excessive intake of cold food as part of diet. It is unhealthy. Number two, skipping meals. Healthy or unhealthy? Yes, it is unhealthy. Eating too many processed food. Healthy or unhealthy? Yes, it is an unhealthy habit. Number four, taking too much added sugar. Healthy or unhealthy? Yes, it is an unhealthy habit. Number five, eating late at night. Healthy or unhealthy? Yes, it is an unhealthy habit. Number six, doing regular exercise. Healthy or unhealthy? It is a healthy habit. Number seven, staying hydrated. Healthy or unhealthy?
it is a healthy habit. Number eight, getting enough sleep. Healthy or unhealthy? Yes, it is a healthy habit. Congratulations, Grade 10 P in Ethics. Now, you know the proper habits to achieve a healthy and active lifestyle. Here are more tips on how to stay active even if you are just at home. Grade 10 learners, I believe all of you are helping in doing household chores. Am I right? Now, let me ask you, what are the things that you do at home? Wow, that's great. Well, do you know that when we do household chores, we are also doing strengthening exercises? Oops, who is that? Is that me? Teacher Ruby at your service. Let's say you are mopping or brushing the floor for an hour. You could burn the same calories as if you are working out. Plus, you'll see that your floor will be squeaky clean. Okay, what can you see in the video? Oh yes, it's me doing the laundry. Do you know that from the moment you carry the dirty clothes to putting them in a tub, then manually washing up to the part of hanging the clothes to dry it up, you are doing exercises. Plus, you are sure that your clothes will smell good. So now, it's your turn. But wait, don't go away. I know you are all excited to help your parents in doing household chores. What I want you to do is to get your papers and pens and answer this exercise. List down three different household chores that can be alternatives for strengthening exercises and write different parts of your body that is being worked out by each chores. For example, in mopping the floor, you are also working out your shoulder and arms and also your abdominal muscle. I will give you 30 seconds to do this activity. Time's up! Did you write lifting furniture or pail of water? Well, if you answered that, I'm sure you've included shoulder, arms, legs, and abdominal muscle, or core as body parts. It can work out. Now, grade 10 Pinatics, I want to challenge you to post your video doing the chores as part of your daily health routine and pictures showing the proper eating habit. Tag DepEd TV so we can see your videos. You might just get featured in our next episode. In today's episode, we talked about the importance of observing healthy eating habits to achieve a healthy lifestyle. We also learned some tips on how to stay healthy even at home and the importance of doing household chores in maintaining an active lifestyle. And that's all for today, Grade 10 P in Ethics. Thank you for tuning in to DepEd TV. Learn and work out with me in our next episode. This is Teacher Ruby, your PE buddy. <laughs>